Hey everyone, this is Just a Tick and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can jailbreak your latest iOS 16.7 or iOS 15.7.9. Also, you can install the Syria on your jailbroken device. Yes, you heard it right. Most of the people are requested me to make the video like how we can install the Syria. Like if you are aware of it, like Pelerin jailbreak comes with a default package manager that is the Celio and Zebra, but there is no option to install the Syria so we will see that how we can install on this video so you can see that on the screen I'm currently jailbroken and the Syria and Subtut are installed and I've also installed some tweaks like cylinder reborn and also the snowboard for the theme so everything working smooth so we will see complete step-by-step -step tutorial in this video so for that just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so without further delay let's start this process all right so now we will start from the scratch so first we need to jailbreak our device with a Pelrin. Not only with the Pelrin, also we need to use the rootful jailbreak rather than the rootless. If you use other jailbreak like my custom ISO file or other methods, maybe you will install the rootless jailbreak that is not helpful for installing the Cydia. So you need to use the rootful jailbreak. So for some option on Windows, you can use the WinRain jailbreak or you can use the official Pelrin or Pelnix ISO file. In that you will get the rootless and rootful both option. So for this video, we will use the WinRain latest 2.0 version as it's more easy and now in the latest version they have added the rootless as well as for the rootful jailbreak so you will get both the option so first we will see the what is the change log in the new version as compared to the old version that is the 1.0 or 1.1 so i have collected some screenshot in that you will get some version info like what are the latest changes in the new version so if you can see that the main focus on the new version that is the rootful jailbreak they have added the rootful and the create fake fs option in that you can use the fake fs storage so you can install the rootful version of the Pelrain jailbreak also you will see some usb fixes and usb tk driver fix so if you have some drivers issue in the previous version this version will fix all that so you can use the latest version that is the 2.0 and the most important point if you are using the rootful jailbreak your device must have free space up to the 16 gig if you have a device that is the 8 gb of space maybe the rootful method is not good and it will not work for you so if you have a lower space memory like 8 gb you can use it the rootless method that will work for you as in that there is no option to create the fake fs it will directly jailbreak your device but if you are using the rootful method in that your device must have free space up to the 16 gb or above and after that you can easily jailbreak your device so that it will create some temporary storage to install the rootful mode and also if you are on a11 device especially like iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x as you know that the Pelrin jailbreak doesn't allow you to set the passcode touch id or face id on the a11 devices on the other devices like iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, you can easily set the passcode or other thing. So these are some important points. And also there are another important point. If you want to install the untrusted drivers or the third party driver, your Windows system must disable the driver signature enforcement before you can install any of the drivers or using the WinRange jailbreak. So it's very important. If you don't know how to disable the driver signature, just go to my blog there is a dedicated article on that like how you can do that or simply google it like how you can disable the driver signature and you will get enough articles so i will just put all this change log on my blog so you can just read it one by one and still if you are confused like how we can set up the win range jailbreak on our windows machine step by step just see my old dedicated video on that in that i have explained each and everything in detail and the supported model list for this Pelerin jailbreak are listed on the screen from iPhone 6s to iPhone X and other iPad models that are listed on the screen are supported on iOS 15 to the latest iOS 16. So you can pause the video and check the list and for download link you can just visit my blog or check out the description link. You will get my direct blog link. You can easily install it for free. So now everything is cleared and I have set up each and everything. So now let me just connect my device. This is my iPhone 8 that is running on the latest iOS 16.7 that is currently the latest version for this device after that select the Pelrain option and click on the rootful mode also check the create fs option and make sure that 
your drivers are installed like itunes from the apple website only don't use the microsoft store itunes version that will create issue and if you still face some drivers issue click on the fix drivers button that will fix all the drivers from your system automatically that will help in the jailbreak option now once the driver is fixed just reconnect the device so that the drivers will take effect after that everything is good we have checked the rootful mode and tick the create fs option now you will get this warning for only the a11 devices so now as i already told you don't set the passcode touch id or face id on the a11 devices before or after jailbreak and if you have issue just clean restore your device after that proceed further for other devices everything is okay next you will see your device will go into the recovery mode oh by mistake i have closed the tool let me just reopen it so now it's in the recovery mode now just keep continue and put your device into the DFU mode. Just follow the instruction on the screen. Now you will see the program has started the jailbreak and you will see the booting and other exploit stages on the screen. So keep your device connected. It will jailbreak your device in some minute. So now you can see it start proceeding further and you will see the exploit also on your device like the booting stage and the Pong OS loading on your phone. Now you will see it start loading the RAM disk and creating the fake FS and on the tool also you will see the success message. So from here it creating the fake FS storage on your device so it will take up to the 10 minutes for that so do not disconnect until it get complete. So let me just keep the device aside and wait for it to get complete. Now once the create fs process is completed, your device will reboot again to the home screen. But currently the jailbreak is not completed. We only have done the first part that is creating the fake storage. Next in order to complete the rest of the part and install the complete jailbreak, we need to install the Pelerin loader. So for that, keep your device connected with the tool and click on go back. After that, this time you need to uncheck that create fs option only select the rootful mode and start proceed next the process is same your device will go into the recovery mode and then it will ask you to put your device into the DFU mode but this time the difference is that we have created the fake storage already so this time it will only install the Pelnin loader so it will just take one minute to install it will not take much time as we only need to install the loader this time so just wait for it to get complete so now you can see you will see the full jailbreak process on the device completed now you can disconnect the cable and close the windrain tool and just connect with the Wi-Fi and wait for the Pelrain loader. So now you can see that the Pelrain loader is on the home screen. So let me just connect with the Wi-Fi. Now next open the Pelrain loader. Now just wait for it to get the list of the default package manager that is the Celio and the Zebra and we will see how we can install the CDI as well as this is the main purpose of the video. So now to install the CDI first we need to install one package manager that is the default one that is the Celio. So just tap on that and install it and next we will see how we can convert it to the CDI. Now once it is done, it will ask you to set the root password. You can type any password you want. For now I am typing the sudo. Now you can see the Celio is installed. So now we will move further how we can install the Celia on it through this Celio package manager. So now you can see that I am currently jailbroken on the latest iOS 16.7 successfully. First you need to go to the sources and add one repo so that we can install the Celia. I will display the repo name on the screen so you can just pause the video and copy it. Now just type it and click on the add source.
Now after some minute you will see the repo here. Now tap on it and you will see all the packages and the other tweaks that this repo contains. But for now we will only need one package that is the Cydia installer. You can go to the search and search for Cydia installer. Here you will see that. Tap on it and you will encounter this error that is the ZSTD package is not found. So if I go to the search and search for the same package that is the ZSTD, you will see this one is already installed that is the libzstd1 but if you see the above one that is the normal zstd if you click on the get and install it will ask you again that error that that the zstd is not installed even we are trying to install the zstd so this package contains the error so how we can fix that and install it now to solve that you just need to long press the get button and then you will get the two version of the ZSTD package. One is the latest version that is the 1.5.4 in that you will see that error but we need to download the older version that is the 1.5.2 so just click on that and after that you can easily install the ZSTD package. Now everything is good now we can again go to the search and search for the Cydia installer and this time you will see no errors and you can easily install the Cydia installer. After that you will see the restart spring boot, tap on that and now everything is good. So now let's see the CD is installed or not. Now you can see that on the home screen you will get the CD icon. So we have successfully installed the CD and everything looks good and you will see we have successfully jailbroken on the 16.7 iOS version and the CD is installed. And if I go to the packages you will see some update and the same package that is the ZSTD. If you try to install and update this package it will still show in your update section as the latest version is available but we don't want the latest version as in the latest version there are some errors so we only need the version 1.5.2 to run with the Cydia so so just ignore that update after that you can easily use the tweaks that are supported with the Pelerin jailbreak so for example let me just install some and show you so first let's install the substitute and you will see that after installing any tweak it will not allow you to restart the springboard even if you tap on that nothing will happen and on the top you will only get the close option and the black screen so with that you only need to manually restart the springboard from the Palerine loader just go there and in the action you, you will see the respring option every time you want to restart the springboard you just need to go there and select that option from the Palerine loader to manually respring the device so these are the options that are available as there are some tricks you need to follow it and the important thing if you are using the Cydia make sure you will install two things one is the substitute that I have already showed you another one you need to install that is the preference loader that will also help you as sometimes the tweaks will not show in the settings app so to fix that you need to install this preference loader and after that the tweaks will also show in the settings now just do the restart springboard and you are ready to use the Cydia so now let me just install one more tweak and show you it's working so this time let me just install the cylinder reborn or you can use the snowboard for the themes there are lots of tweaks available you can just google it you will get according to the support with the pelerin so let me just uh, restart again so now you can see it's installed but the tweaks not take effect so for that just restart the springboard and after that you will see the cylinder effect on my home screen that means the tweak is working also it's showing in the settings let's try another one So now the snowboard tweak is also installed successful and it's showing in the settings and working on this latest Pelerin version. So now we have seen the complete detailed guide like how we can jailbreak iOS 15.7.9 and the latest iOS 16.7 on the Pelerin jailbreak supported devices and also we have successfully installed the Cydia. So if you want to use the Cydia you can but don't use the Cilio and Cydia at the same time. You can remove the Cilio from your home screen screen and enjoy the Cydia and if you want to use the Cilio you can just delete the Cydia. 
or uninstall that Cydia installer. So that is all for this video. I hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content. So just hit the like button and support my channel by subscribing it. I will see you in another one. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.